Thanks for joining us here today, folks. We're going over the 2022 Crossroads Hampton. That's a 388 FKL floor plan. Um, this is going to be a park model, so full-time enthusiasts there that have a permanent spot are really going to enjoy this model. Eight foot uh, width, so we're going to be able to see how much that truly opens up the living space. A lot of opposing slides, front kitchen model, and you're also going to have a second story loft there um, for kids, anybody that wants to stay the night at your local campground there. Um, this unit is also going to have all of the uh, second ACs, also going to have the Furion stainless steel package, and this unit's also coming in here at 42 feet 11 inches. Thanks for joining us here today, folks. Going over the 2022 uh, Crossroads Hamptons, a 388 FKL. So, as you can see, big park model here that's going to give you eight feet. Um, without the slide outs in. So normal travel trailer, you're gonna be able to see how much more room the park model gets you. It's gonna have two 30 pound propane tanks up here, going to have the uh, manual crank for your guys' hitch. And this model don't have it, but you can order it special. It's gonna have a detachable hitch. It'll be bolts here. You can take that whole hitch off. Um, that way it looks more kind of like a trailer, so to say, and not a camper. Uh, 30 pound tanks, two uh, 12 volt batteries there. Only one comes from the factory. There is a spot to add a second one. Over here on the entry side door of the coach here, guys, you're gonna have the traditional fold down style. Some of my more permanent campers, they like to actually just remove those, build like a wood uh, staircase up to them, gives you more of like a residential feel. You're gonna have a uh, bottle opener slash dog tether there. You guys can uh, chain your dog up. Some of my customers use that as like a chain point to lock their grills up and stuff when they leave the campsite. Residential glass uh, sliding patio door, complete with your two speakers, and that's your first awning. Your first awning will come over here. Down the way here, you're also gonna have your second awning. That second awning will be right up there. I like how they don't put it over the top of the slide out. Almost kind of a waste when the awning's over the top of the slide. You only have about this much room to be able to get underneath the awning. So I like how Hampton does that. Big awning, rest of the whole side of the camper, along with your guys' uh, TV hookup. That's gonna be 110 outlets, plug your TV in, whatever outdoor appliance or uh, equipment that you guys have, along with all of your satellite hookups. And that's gonna be your second entry door there to enter right into the master bedroom. Thanks for staying with us, folks. Um, stepping into the side here of the 388 FKL um, fret kitchen model. So if we have the blind shut now, but if you guys have a nice view of your campsite, maybe overlooking a lake or something, really gonna appreciate if you spend a lot of time in the kitchen. Solid surface countertops, big thing. There's no cracks, um, any porous material to soak in the oils and the smells. Wipe everything clear off. You can cut on it, don't have to worry about it. Also gonna have all of your big uh, residential size range. So you're gonna have three fan modes there, uh, night light, uh, full working range that sucks it clear out of the camper, just doesn't recirculate it. LED lights, four burner, uh, cast iron cooktop here. And then down underneath, that's a very good size oven. Um, that's gonna be able to fit, you know, big turkey, big chicken. If you guys spend a lot of the holidays in the camper. Over here, gonna have your residential kind of style farmhouse sink. I like the big open sink with no divider. That way big pots and pans fit into it, along with these nice little drying racks they put in here. Uh, flat storage, again, for more food prep, etc. Also going to have tons of cabinet space. Um, actually, decent amount of cabinet space. Cabinets go to the tongue of the trailer. That's big, a more, lot more space there. And then a big Samsung residential size refrigerator. It's going to be like the French door style setup. Freezer is gonna have a ton of space, a lot of movable um, storage drawers, little vessels to store stuff in. Over here is gonna be your Insigna brand, um, chrome stainless steel uh, excuse me, microwave here. That's gonna have a convection option too. So if you guys don't wanna fire that big oven up, preheat it, get it nice and warm in here on a hot day, you're gonna appreciate that convection microwave. Literally does the same thing an oven does. More over here is going to be kind of like a pantry style storage space. Um, maybe tabletop uh, appliances here that you can plug in, maybe charge, run a mixer, set it up here, put your coffee maker over here, lots of storage. Now here are the living quarters of the 388 FKL. That's going to have a hide a bed option here. Um, you guys, that's going to be able to fold out about three different times. Nice place for someone to stay there, a friend, family member. Also over here, you're going to have full power theater seating. 
you're gonna have the up, the down, you're gonna have uh, heat, and you're also gonna have a massage option. Over here is uh, where the remotes are supposed to go. They never end up there. They always end up lost or someplace, but there's a place there to organize them. Also, I did forget to mention USB chargers. Both sides, Thomas Paine collection, hide a bed. Over here is the entertainment center. So that's gonna come there with the Connex TV. That TV can pull out a little bit, move that around here. Kind of like a nice little uh, raw edge, rough edge wood there. Below that is going to be your guys' fireplace. That's actually going to put out heat, nice supplement heat. If you guys camp in the cold weather, you're really going to appreciate that. Hopped over here to the other side of living quarters. Going to have your guys' freestanding dinette. This booth here, that can move freely. It's in the travel position. Scoot it up, you know, if you're shorter. This edge here lifts up, more storage, more space. And over here is pretty sweet, guys. Drop your phone, wireless charger built into it. Alrighty, now to the master uh, bathroom here on the coach. Porcelain toilet, foot flush style. Uh, lots of storage over there for towels, um, toiletries. Also going to have a decent sized shower there. Um, most people that are going to be 6'2", 6'3", are going to be able to fit in there very comfortably. One thing with the loft above your head, um, it really doesn't take away that much space as uh, much people really think it does. So very important, your head space there. Over to the left-hand side, medicine cabinet, mirrors will open, lots of storage goes all the way to the back there of the wall, um, complete with your sink and stainless steel faucet. Over here to the convenience center, you guys are going to see just press the battery fresh water, black tank, gray. That's gonna show all of your levels there in the LED indicator lights. All of your sliding control is conveniently located here. Water pump, heater, uh, tank pads, living room fan lights, and also both of your awning controls conveniently right there at your fingertips. Now to the master bedroom here of the coach. Uh, you can walk around both sides of the bed. Again, that's very important to me. Uh, you and the missus can get ready there in the mornings. Don't have to climb over the bed to get to the other side. Just walk right around. Behind me here, your bed is gonna have a slide out. Very important, opens up a lot more room for the floor. Also going to have two USB uh, inputs here. That way you guys can charge your electric uh, devices. Right in front of over here, you're going to have all of your TV backer. So right here is gonna be like a big piece of uh, essentially plywood behind here. Go to Walmart, pick up the bracket that you guys want, the one that maybe faces the direction, set that TV right there, all of your hookups, uh, more storage down here for maybe movies, DVD player, lots of overhead storage here. And then I will sneak over here, washer and dryer hookups. So if you guys you know, don't need a washer and dryer, that's more space. Fill that space up, close whatever you guys want to put in there. Um, coat hanger rack right there above you. Over here is more flat top storage there for uh, 110 outlets. So anything you guys need to plug in, hair equipment, anything camping related, another receptacle there. And his and hers can have a, a wardrobe there. Again, coat hanger. And then one thing that I'll always do forget about, you guys will have a ton of storage underneath here. Almost the whole bed lifts up. Nice deep storage. All righty here, thanks for staying with us. Couple steps later up here on the staircase brings you to the loft here. So two teddy bear mattresses, in between that's your USB chargers, um, your 110 outlet, also that AC, you can adjust the gates there to just dump the air right on you, stay nice and cool along with the vents above your head. And kind of a cool thing that's important to me is a lot of windows. You don't really feel isolated up here. If you have nice views, you can enjoy that. Over here on the left-hand side, you're gonna see a big cabinet along with your guys' um, TV hookups. All right, jumped over to the uh, adjacent side here, another teddy bear mattress. Um, you're gonna have a vent there above your head to stay nice and cool. Again, complete with that nice small window. And then you will have a kind of a nice outlook over there of the kitchen right there in the morning. Wake up, see if breakfast is ready for you. Thanks for staying with me here today, folks. Again, my name is Nathan Anderson. I'd love to help you out. I can be reached at 937-649-5823.